Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. In this video, we'll discuss the third problem of Lead Code Weekly Contest 291. The problem name is K divisible element subarrays. So we are given an integer array nums and two integers k and t. We need to return the number of distinct subarrays which have at most k elements divisible by p. So given a subarray, so given an array and two integers k and p. We need to return the distinct subarrays which have at most k elements divisible by p. Uh, now let's look uh, by what are two distinct arrays. So two arrays nums1 and nums2 are said to be distinct if they are of different length or there exists at least one index i where nums1 of i is not equal to nums2 of i. So yeah, we, we can generate all of them probably. And a subarray is defined as a non empty contiguous subsequence of elements in an array. So, yeah, this is the problem. Uh, let's see what the example tells. So, again, this is the array. This is the array. And k equals to 2 and p equals to 2. That means we need to find the distinct subarrays which have at most two elements divisible by 2. So, we can see the elements at indices 0, 3, and 4 are divisible by p equals to 2. So it says that there are 11 distinct subarrays which have at most k equals to 2 elements divisible by 2. So uh, not a detailed explanation. Uh, let's see how we can proceed. And if we look into the second example, so the array is 1, 2, 3, 4. We need to find the subarrays which have at most 4 elements divisible by 1. So obviously all the elements are divisible by 1. So and uh, the maximum number of elements that we can have even if we take all the elements. The, the, the maximum length of the subarrays will be so that will be 4 so that means we generate all the subarrays in this case and all will satisfy our condition so total 10 subarrays will have uh, if we look into the constraint then it's the length of the subarray is 200 and the values are also up to 200 and again k is less than equal to nums dot length so since the constraint is pretty low uh, what I did I, I just applied a brute force in this case uh, and just compared it using a set. So uh, let's see what I mean by that. So uh, we 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 fetch the number of elements that we have, uh, and we we initialize answer with zero, and we also declare a set which which contains list of integer. Now why list of integer? Because we are generating the subarrays, and a set will only contain distinct list of integers. So when once we generate all the subarrays and we satisfy the condition then the length of this set will will be our answer so now let's see how we generate it so again as i told it will be a brute force thing so we generate all the subarrays and um, so we start from 0 to n and uh, the the total div is the number of elements which are divisible by the given number p which we have seen in this subarray why we are using it so that as soon as we find as soon as uh, this value becomes greater than k because it can have at most k elements which are divisible by p as soon as it, is, uh, it becomes greater than k we just break it so if you if you look into this then okay this is the list this is a template that we have created uh, we, we are starting from j equals to i j less than n uh, trying to generate all these subarrays and we add the current element in the in the temp array and we see that whether the current element that we have added is divisible by p or not if that is divisible we increment the count and if this value we can see if, if the total diff is less than k that means this is a valid subarray so what we do we add it to our set subarrays dot new array list of temp we have gen so we, we need a new array because we will be appending elements to the to temp uh, moving forward as well in this loop so we, we construct a new array list and we uh, append all the values there and we add it to the set so we do it in a nested loop generating all the subarrays and seeing that uh, uh, which subarrays satisfy our condition and then at last we return subarrays dot size and that will be our answer because the comparator here will compare the uh, values uh, whether to some two two list are equal or not so that will be compared by values and at last we'll have all the distinct subarrays satisfying our condition so uh, hope you learned something from this video uh, do support it by giving up a thumbs up 
uh, also do subscribe to the channel and uh, see you in the next video thank you